Psalm 33. Let's stand for the reading of the Word of God. We're going to read just verse 12. And I think it's appropriate as we celebrate the 4th of July. Of course, it was on Thursday, but we can continue celebrating the greatness of this wonderful nation. Verse 12, the Bible says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Um, I'll speak to you uh, this morning on the, the greatness of our nation, the greatness of our nation. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your love uh, for this nation and uh, the establishment of this one, uh, 200 and something um, years of many blessings uh, in this nation. And Lord, we are so grateful to be part of it and live and, 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 uh, and just uh, to reside in this place and see the work of your hands and provision to this nation through the years of their history. And Lord, help us not to forget that who is the one who found it. And Lord, help us to uh, always consider that in our souls as Christians and to always be uh, grateful for what we have, even though things are going wrong in, in this nation. But Lord, thank you because we have you. I pray that you bless us as we learn this um, fact about the greatness of this nation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> <laughs> the greatness of, this, of, of, of a nation. Now, the first time Mr. Trump uh, ran for the presidency, he used uh, the slogan, uh, let's make America great again. And that's what you know he's running on right now again for 2020. But he was not the first uh, uh, person who was campaigning you know, on that uh, phrase. Ronald Reagan, uh, he used uh, the same slogan in the 80s. But also uh, in the 90s, Mr. Uh, Bill Clinton ran on that slogan again. And so my question to them will be why these leaders are claiming that the USA is lacking of greatness. That's my question, right? Because, you know, this nation is being great. I mean, everybody knows, and the world knows that. And so why they are claiming that the nation lacks greatness. So, and I will say to you, and I suggest to you that any person who has lived uh, more than 30 or 40 years in this nation, um, they would know that something is wrong going on here in this nation. Amen. Something is going wrong. And so, uh, and I'm not talking about finance, you know, financial, political, or uh, foreign affairs businesses. Uh, I'm talking about the moral values that are collapsing and destroying this beautiful nation. And uh, let's take a look at some statistics, and I want to just, you know, for the sake of uh, understanding the message and, of course, understanding what is going on in our nation. So, for instance, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, one-third of USA population has a sexually transmitted disease. Um, and we're talking about 110 million people, all right? Now, the USA has the highest teen pregnancy rate in the world, all right? Now, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, there are 747,408 registered sex offenders in the USA. Just in California, we have 106,000. Um, it has been estimated that 89% of all pornography is produced in, in the USA. Marriage rate 
has fallen to a, 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 an all-time low. More than half of all couples move in together before they get married. Now, besides that, America has the highest divorce rate in the world. Now, for women under the age of 30, more than half of all babies are being born out of wedlock. One out of three children live without father. Since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973, more than 56 million babies have been killed. Amen. Now, the FDA is actually considering making it legal for doctors and scientists to create three parents' babies. So think about what's going on in the minds of our people, you know, the, the, the head of uh, science. Now, Doctors write more than 200, 250 million prescriptions for antidepressant each year. The average young American will spend 10,000 hours playing video games before age 21. According to a recent Pew Research Center survey, 60% of all Americans believe that Humans and other living things have evolved over time. All right, they, they, you know, they were not created. Now, this is all the philosophy that's going on. Now, 73% of the religiously unfili unaffiliated support gay marriage, and the 72% of the religiously unaffiliated support legalized abortion. Now, the unaffiliated crowd makes the 30% of the population of USA. So this is very scary statistics. Now notice, and I did not mention to you the sex trafficking, the LGBT um, uh, agenda, the murders, the drug consumption, the alcohol abuse, and the corruption and all levels of co corporations in, in the institutions of America. So this is, what's going on is really, really crazy. Now, people still think that by changing political leaders, uh, new systems of government, being more productive in a nation, and getting along with other uh, uh, you know, uh, nations of the world, that they will create the greatness of America again. And that's, you know, that's the, the, the predicament that we are in. People think that by you know, changing the system, you know, this, uh, Mr. Sanders is trying to you know, get communism com you know, coming in. Yes. And then you know, being supported by the Democrats and all these general, you know, all these people that I don't know what they, I don't know what, you know, what they're being. If they're in the Capitol, they should know better. And of course, you know, oh, this is, again, to me, is the beginning of, you know, um, to see the apostasy going and taking place and, of course, the end of the world that is coming. And uh, so, to me, you know, when I hear, you know, uh, you know all these uh, 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 politicians trying to run and, you know, bring all these uh, goodies, you know, to people so they can, you know, vote for them and all this, and I wonder, I mean, where these people have been for the last 50 years, you know, if they were even born here in this, in this place. You know, I was not born in this place, but I, 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 I love this, you know, I love this country yeah. dearly. And I know and I have, you know, I appreciate so much what this country has done for me and my family, you know. And, 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 and uh, I, I think, you know, my, my heart it, it really grows weary when I see these people, they are, you know, from the, uh, the United States, and they don't understand even themselves what's going on in this nation. So um, the laws, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Bible says, notice verse 10 right there. The Lord uh, bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh devices of the people of none effect. So, you know, uh, no, no, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of system, it doesn't matter what kind of philosophy they want to bring to this nation to set in and so, you know, to bring us a better, uh, you know, um, uh, nation, it's not going to happen. It, it will not happen. 
So the lowest, uh, uh, the lowest, you know, greatness of America, only one person can restore it back, and that is God alone. Amen. Nobody else can do it. I mean, that's the fact. And that's why, you know, verse 12, notice, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So a nation will be blessed, all right, because God will be reigning, God will be honored, God will be respected, God will be loved, God will be, you know, uh, you know, uh, giving the space that he needs to have among the people. So our political leaders have forgotten that a nation is comprised by people and the values of the people create the social, cultural, and economic success. You know, uh, if people don't have the right values, it doesn't matter what kind of system they have established. If the values are not, you know, uh, in the right place, I'm talking about moral values. It's not just, you know, having an expert, you know, uh, an expertise of producing money and, and jobs and, you know, and, uh, and industrial, uh, you know, uh, systems. So um, it is more than just, you know, systems and philosophies and ideals uh, from politicians. So the greatness of these nations since the foundation, it was not because of George Washington. It was not because Abraham Lincoln. It was not because Jane, you know, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, it's not because you know, Thomas Jefferson. No. It was because the great God that they had. That's the fact. The greatness of this uh, wonderful country. I want you to um, uh, pay attention to one of the, uh, they call it the national prayer. And uh, um, uh, uh, I came across this wonderful prayer from Thomas Jefferson. Now, now look, look, look here. This is, this is the fact. Uh, Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitude brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. And uh, with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be uh, justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth, in time of prosperity, fill our hearts with uh, thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust indeed to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. This is the; these are the great men of God that the Lord, you know, uh, um, you know, put together. Now, as you know, you know, uh, Thomas Jefferson. He was the third president of the United States of America. He crafted, you know, the, uh, uh, the uh, Declaration of the Independence. He was a statement. He was a, a lawyer. He was an architect. He was, this, you know, it, it was a respected man. But these men, they live for God. Everything that they did, you know, I mean, they, and the, the textbooks of the public, you know, uh, uh, education, you will not find that this prayer there. So that people understand that, you know, we have these wonderful founders, you know, that they gave us, you know, this direction for this wonderful nation. They don't have that. They don't show it. As a matter of fact, they trash it. They, you know, uh, they do uh, different things, you know, news. And so that people, they are growing up, you know, to become the new leaders, all right, of this nation. Don't understand where we come from. And that's why they're erasing, they, they are eradicating literally you know, the, the foundation of this nation. And this is so sad. It is so sad. So, the greatness of America is found in the homes of the Christians. Hello? Amen. Amen. The greatness of America is found in the homes of Christians. 
and their families and their and their churches and uh, you know and, and we are here and that's why you know the greatness of, of America is not falling still because you know there's still you know great churches standing for truth standing for wonderful values and standing for the word of God and standing for God and and so uh, you know the, the greatness of America is in their saved hearts and souls you know the, the people that are saved in this nation all right, that's where the greatness of God is, or the greatness of this nation is. And so we are so wonderful, blessed, because God is the God of this nation. The chosen people uh, that God has uh, saved, uh, people are blessed, people are, you know, that bring value, meaning, resource, and destiny to our nation. The Lord chose uh, this nation to bless the world, and he did it. God bless this world through this nation. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Wonderful, great of men, you know, came out from this uh, nation to go out and take the gospel through the whole world. All right. And that's why the Lord, you know, blessed, you know, so much this nation, a very special blessing. It's upon this nation. And that's why, you know, there's no, there's no doubt why, you know, God is still, you know, blessing this nation. It's because there are still great churches preaching the word of God. Amen. And so um, the Lord chose this nation to bless the world, and he did it. But the new progressive uh, ideas have found ears in the new generations, and they are destroying what is left of the greatness of this nation, the new philosophies that are coming in. By the way, you know, uh, the Bible says, I'm talking about the, you know, the, the progressiveness of evil that is coming, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not for, uh, I'm not against um, for things new that we can happen for better, you know, in this nation. But when they take away, you know, the foundation for who we are, then that's I have a problem with that. I don't know about you, but you know, I have a problem that when, when you know, in the textbooks of the um, uh, in the public, you know, education teaching, they don't mention literally you know, how, you know, this nation became what it is, you know, or what it was, basically, what is going on right now is so sad. But notice the mind of a, of a, um, of a uh, sinner or atheist or, you know, those that do not trust God or do not fear God. Notice in Psalm 36, please, in verse 1, this is the mindset that is going on. To me, this is the progressive mindset, okay? Notice verse 1. Psalm 36, the transgression of the wicked says within my heart. Notice, this is what's going on, okay? That there is no fear of God before his eyes. All right, notice. For he flattereth himself and his own what? Eyes. Eyes. Until his iniquity be found to be hateful. You see that? That's what's going on. That's the mindset of progressiveness. You see, uh, no one, uh, you know, if you are against uh, them or, you know, if you have a different position of opinion, that's the, that's the reason why you be hated. Yes. You're going to be called bigger. You'll be going to call, you know, many different names because of the fact that you're not with them. You know, you're not aligned with their thinking, with their ideals. Now notice, and they themselves, himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Notice, he has left off to be wise and to do good. Those two things. To be wise and to do good, they just left it. And by the way, you know, don't, uh, you know there's a lot of things that people are doing that it, it looks childish to me as far as leaders doing things. Um, you know, uh, Brother Alvin was uh, sharing with us the fact that in the new year, uh, the um, uh, plan uh, for the uh, public education it will be uh, indoctrinating young people since you know five years old to to have a sex uh, class. Yes. What, what what in the world are you gonna teach a five year old you know about sex? Do they need to know that? You see, but not only the, the fact that they're going to be taught, you know, uh, uh, sex, okay, but 
also uh, uh, positions of sex. That is insane. Amen. That is where it's going on. And to me, that, you know, is, it, where is, you know, I mean, and again, you know, it, 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 the fact that, you know, they're just thinking about wickedness. And so there's no morality there. There's, there's nothing of fear of God. There's nothing of that. You know, verse uh, 4, he divides it, uh, mischief upon his bed. Notice, he setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. And, of course, uh, that's where, you know, the Lord is watching them. And, of course, the Lord is. Now, now when you, when you see, you know, um, this kind of uh, society being perverted, the way it's being perverted, and I would not be surprised of these, you know, big uh, earthquakes and all these fires and all this stuff that, you know, is coming. And, and people don't understand this. This can be a, really a punishment from God. Yes, sir. You know, by the way, you as a Christian, you should not be afraid of that. Because it, 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 it's, it, if, if, if it comes from God, it's not harm you. It's not going to harm us. Because God, our Father, is not going to do something to us, against us, you know, for against us, because he's not, he has nothing against us. Amen. He's for us. But you see, we, we live in a world that is so wicked. And so God, in his, you know, uh, mercy, his grace, uh, his uh, omnipotent power, uh, I mean, he, he needs to do something about it to discipline to show some sign of that, you know, uh, that to be careful. And by the way, you know, when when um, when national disaster happens, is when people get more conscious, more conscientious of what's going on in their lives. And sometimes the Lord needs to send that kind of pressure to humans, you know, so they can look up instead of looking down. And so this is very important. So, what does God expect from his creation? Notice uh, thir uh, Psalm 33, please. What does God expect from his creation? Verse uh, 8, Psalm 33. Notice, let all the earth fear what? The Lord. The Lord. That's what he wants. Amen. That's what he expects. He expects that everyone, all right, everyone on earth should fear him. Notice, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. You see that? Yes, That's paying respect, honoring him, you know, bringing him, uh, you know, the, to be preeminent in, in our lives, in our homes, in our nation, you know, that he can always be exalted, and, you know, and, and, and loved and respected. That's what the Lord wants. What, you know, that's what he expects from his creation. And so, but it's not happening. What is going on? You know, all these, uh, 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 you know, uh, amenities, all these, you know, uh, division, even the, you know, the politicians, even the same parties are being divided. Yes. You know, the, the Democrats, they have a lot of divisions right now. They don't, they don't even know what, you know, where, where they, where they want to go. It's really sad. <coughs> You know, some are very progressive, others are very communist, others socialist, other you know, uh, you know, there's no moderate a anymore there. You're not gonna find there anything of that nature. And then the Republicans also they have some divisions, different philosophies now. By the way, Thomas Jefferson was a, a Republican. Hello. Amen. But you know, uh, in the s uh, history uh, nowadays they bring it the way they wanted to present it. And so make people believe or otherwise. So we, you know, we have a greatness of, of this nation, not because of the politician, not because of the, you know, great men, you know, statement that, you know, really, or the founders, or because they had, you know, they, they had these great ideals for this wonderful nation. No, we, you know, the, the greatness of, of the United States of America is because the great God that they have. Amen. The great God that, you know, it was found in this wonderful nation. So what does God expect from his children? Now notice Psalm 33, please. Uh, Psalm 33 in verse um, 20. 
This is what the Lord expects from you and from me. All right? Notice. 20. Are we there? Amen. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Amen. You see that? Yes, sir. That's what we need to expect from the Lord. And he expects from us that, uh, that we uh, trust him. That we, you know, you know, rely on him. That, that we wait on him. All right? And that's, he's waiting, you know, he's expecting us that we rely on him always, you know, believe in him and trust him. And so the Bible says our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help in our, in our shield. For our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Praise the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Are you trusting the Lord? Amen. Are you really? Even with those earthquakes going on, are you really trusting the Lord? I was uh, in the last portion of my message there. Uh, uh, let me see. That's Friday, right? Friday, and, and it, it was it was shaking. I felt you know the, the whole structure uh, of that chapel was you know and out of a while it was shaking, and and and, uh, and then there was one brother that he just called out the fact that it was. You know, feeling the uh, the earthquake, and, and he said he, he told you know there's there's an earthquake going on, and I just you know listened to him. And I'm about to finish and I said, So what? You know, let's, let's you know let's finish. Let's pray. I said, Amen. and that's the the end. That was literally the end of the message. There, let's pray. And the whole thing was shaking. Who you trusted when those things come? You see, usually, uh, you know, you, you know, we, um, I was explaining to Hermana Ophelia, um, you know, my nanny, that the structure of our home, and I was explaining, you know, how, you know, the, the structure of, the, of, the, of our home is really good structure. I was trying to convince her, okay, so that she can have some peace in her heart that she's in a safe place. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the, the, you know, the building of that home is, is really, because uh, I saw it when it was being built. You know, it's a great foundation. It's a great, you know, structure. And it is under the code. Everything is fine. Big beams of, you know, wood. And it's really a nice, wonderful structure. So, you, you know, you can be there. And, you know, it's, it's like a box, uh, you know, a square box. Put it, you know, downward. It's not going to happen. Whatever you shake, it just it will move the whole thing, but it's not going to crash. That's how you know wonderful build that. But you know, if God wants it, He can just push it with His finger, and then it's done, right? I mean, that's how it is. This is the truth about you know the reality that we are living. But we see. I don't trust the home. I don't trust the structure. I I trust the guy that I believe in. And this is you know this is how we supposed to. Live our lives trusting God. It doesn't matter what's going on in our, you know, in our surroundings. Uh, it doesn't matter what's going on, you know, in the in the po you know political uh, arena. It doesn't matter, you know, because we know that you know it's not that the you know the great politicians or the great systems of new government that this nation will be, be you know will be uh, great again. No, it's because God is great. Now, if we let God to take over, then this nation will be. Great it again. Amen. It's God who makes it great. It's not, about it. not the system. Amen. Not the politicians. It's not the individuals. And, and great men that you know they have uh, done their, their work and, and wonderful. You know, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, all these great men, the founders of this nation, that's wonderful. They did wonderful. And they consecrated, you know, to do the great, you know, the, uh, their uh, you know part. To become uh, for this nation to become what it was, obviously is being lost. So we, as, as Christian, <clears throat> God expected expects from us to trust Him. Verse uh, twenty-two, kind of like uh, uh, you know, uh, summarize it. Notice, let Thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in Thee. That's a great summarize. All right. So uh, let, let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. You see, so um, if we're going to have
this nation to be great again is not because Mr. Trump. That's right. Okay? It's because the God that we have. Amen. It's That's a right. great God. And his greatness. He will share it with us. He will bless us. And I believe that, you know, um, Thomas Jefferson's uh, prayer on the national prayer that he, uh, you know, historically uh, penned down, uh, it was it was really, that's, that's the key of uh, the hope that we should have in God. And so the greatness of this nation, remember, all right, I mean, you, you need to vote, obviously, amen? As, as, you know, citizens, we need to abide by the laws and do, you know, our due diligence so God will bless us because, you know, we are conforming to the laws of men and obviously obeying and submitting because God established it. <clears throat> but uh, we are not expecting that because, you know, we're going to vote or the way we're going to vote that, you know, the greatest of, of uh, this country will be revived again. No, it's the trust that we have in our God. Amen. All right, the trust. So uh, I, you know, uh, I vote God's way. That's how I, I've been doing it since I became a Christian, you know. I, I would, you know, uh, see what the Lord has to say about issues, you know, about, you know, social issues and things that are going on. And then the principles are there, right there in the Bible. I don't have to ask anybody, you know. So who I am is because, you know, what the Bible, because I follow what the Bible teaches. And so I'm a, you know, I'm a man of, uh, of the Bible. So I believe what the Bible says 100%. Amen. Period. And so uh, if the Lord says, you know, abortion is, is sin, that's, you know, I'm not going to go up for it. All right. So uh, and that's, that's how simple I can put it. All right. So this is the way I, I believe. And this is the way the Lord, uh, you know, is, is um, uh, formed my soul in my life in the new way that, you know, I'm living my life as a Christian. Now, so the greatness of, of, of the nation, it was, it's not going to be established by a new system by a new polit uh, politician, all right, is if the greatest of this nation will re be revived again, it will be because uh, the people of this nation needs to make God the God of this nation. Amen. The people of this nation needs to make God the God of this nation. And that's what, you know, um, uh, Psalm 33, 12 tell us. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. All right. So, and that's why, you know, I am, I'm so blessed to be part of America. Amen. All right. And I am so thankful to be a citizen of this nation. I, I came as a wetback, as they called us. <laughs> All right. But God, with his wonderful provision and guidance, you know, uh, he provided, uh, you know, a, a man who was, uh, you know, came to be uh, Mr. Reagan. Uh, he gave us, you know, uh, you know, this blessing of becoming citizens and whatnot. And so I'm here because of him. And, and you know, and obviously God, you know, uh, putting everything together for a reason. But uh, I am so glad that, you know, those uh, programs for immigration it, it really it helped me a great deal you know and I believe that uh, you know there's some uh, legitimate people seeking to be part of this nation and to, to contribute you know for this nation uh, as we all are contributing to make it great amen, amen. by God's guidance by the way it's not because, you know, we, we can. It's about God allowing us, you know, to be part of it. So the greatness of this nation is because God. Always. Amen. Yes, Always.